Hi guys, welcome to the show. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. I'm Mark. And today we're actually going to talk about Birth of the Dragon. We're going to talk about the goods and the bads. And um, you know what? It's really, really a, a, a hot topic for us. We were very excited when this movie came out. Yeah. We had the poster right there. But unfortunately, the poster was actually better than the movie. I was excited <laughs> going in. I was excited going out because it was over. <laughs> So Terrence, <laughs> Terrence, why don't we start? Why don't you start us out with and tell us some of the goods for you? Oh yeah, let's uh, let's go down with things that I actually loved about this movie. I uh, I love the uh, storytelling that they did about Bruce Light. <laughs> but they didn't have any. Oh okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Right, so I didn't like that. All right, so I also loved uh, the 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 tons of uh, action scenes and all the training we got to see with him and his students. I mean, that didn't happen. Didn't either. happen. <laughs> so, um, there was nothing I liked about this film, sir. There was not, there was not one thing. Okay, well for me it was um, uh, actor Philip N.G.'s per portrayal of Bruce Lee. His mannerisms, the way he was uh, portrayed on film was just absolutely freaking amazing. That's what I like. So <laughs> close, so close to Jason Scott Lee, maybe even surpassed Jason Scott Lee a little bit. <laughs> Not the movie, <laughs> the performance. Okay. The performance. Uh, the performance. His, performance. performance okay. his performance as Bruce Lee was the only, only thing that I loved about that movie. They got the mannerisms right, Everything. all his charisma, yeah. his yeah. arrogance. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they got all that great. It was like, that was one of the things that you were saying that you really loved about it. So, I mean. Oh, back me up on this one. Yeah, no, I mean, he, uh, very, we all grew up thinking Bruce Lee was our superhero, right? We all grew up thinking, man, this guy, who, the legend of Bruce Lee, we, we, we were the first generation, right, after he had passed, we grew up with this. So, what many people didn't know is he was a bit arrogant, right? I mean, who wouldn't be when you are the best at what you do, right? When you're, Absolutely. if you can throw it down with anybody and we knock them on their butts. He was Kanye West before Kanye West. That's right. <laughs> it was Kanye East. He was Kanye East. He was Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> he was Kanye oh. East. <laughs> Kanye East. Oh, man. What else did you like? <laughs> the West. Okay, why, guys? Okay, what about the, um, what about the, the fighting? The fight, the, 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 I know there was a little fighting, but, but still. It wasn't enough. When the, the martial yeah. arts was there, the choreography was the, all right. The, the, fight, the only fight that was worthwhile was the fight between Wong Jack Man and Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, uh, the story is, is based on true events. True events. True events. <laughs> uh, it was a man named Bruce. It was a man named Bruce. <laughs> Bruce that's a, that's Bruce. about as close as they got to the true events. <laughs> he can't believe it either. Before Bruce Lee became a freaking global phenomenon, icon, yes. phenomenon, he um, he was uh, you know he was a student. He was a college student. He had his own uh, he had his own uh, karate. I mean a kung fu school, and uh, he taught everybody. Right. Because he taught different, um, uh, a diverse, he had a diverse group of students, the Chinese community. Ethnicities and nationalities. Exactly. The, the, uh, a Chinese community was not very happy with him. So they had this fight. They had this, this was the reason why, you know, uh, if he lost a fight against Wong Jack Man. Right. He would not. He would stop teaching. If okay. he beat Wong Jack Man, he could teach whoever he wants. Well, see, that was one of the things. Okay, we will talk about something I did like. I like them doing a different take, saying like, okay, what if that was just propaganda? What was that? Was just something that was stories, or maybe it was something that Bruce Lee pumped up himself to uh, to to basically kind of help promote, promote? himself. Uh, and that there, the true story is that it revolved around something else. I was totally on board with that when they even started the movie saying it. I was like, okay, that's a different way to go about it. It's different from Dragon. True it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's true events. <laughs> and we get to see it from Wong Jack Mang's point of view. Maybe you know, everything we've ever heard about this story has all come from Bruce and, you know, there's, there's always sides. yeah well there's always three, three sides three sides three sides, sides. your side man and the truth. truth so this was a way to see that other person's side so I was really on board for that that interests me but the way they carried it out didn't well the, the, <laughs> let's jump on to why we didn't because those are the two only two things that we could think of what the movie was you yeah. know, uh, what it had in its favor a little bit of the fighting and his performance and his performance yes. performances okay all right the bad let's start, let's get to with the bad things first of all um it's very misleading as far as what the movie is about versus what the movie actually is mm -hmm. um as from from now you stated pretty much right now about what you i mean you state exactly that yes what else did you just see that was just wrong what is wrong is that this film totally betrayed Bruce Lee. I mean, it sold you on the fact that like, this is going to be a movie about Bruce Lee, and then they just basically told you like he was a jerk. Yeah, and they made he him the a, villain. Yeah, they made him the villain in his own movie. Yeah, they, they did vilify. They did Birth vilify. Of a villain. Birth of a villain. Birth of, well, no, it, uh, the thing is, 
it was deceiving, right? It was, very, it was, it was deceiving. Yes, exactly. You went in thinking I was going to watch a movie about Bruce Lee. Now, the opening scenes were uh, one of his students is in some gambling debt, and he goes and he takes down a few of the uh, thugs. Which I like. I thought that was Okay, I was like, oh, okay, cool. We're about to see a movie. See Bruce Lee Street Fighter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And instead, that was about all, uh, you know, that was the most screen time I think he had at one point in time until the end of the movie. Yes. Um uh, other than that, it was very brief that he was in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but not to go off topic on that, it was this. If I would have gone in thinking, okay, if they would have just promoted the movie correctly and said, this is going to be. Bertha won't check, man. Or no, or, or, or <laughs> Bertha and Steve McKee. Or Bertha and Steve McKee. <laughs> or if they would have said to the president of, like, this, is movie, this movie is going to be based off of Wong Jack Man and how he believes he influenced Bruce Lee. Something. Yes. Well, I, I would have went into that movie way better. Okay. I would have gone in yeah, with a different. Expectations would have been different. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, but you have the title, Birth of the Dragon. You also have people calling this a bio. Mm -hmm. And when you have those two things, you're, that's, that's pretty much your expectation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, early cuts of this movie, the original cut of this movie, um, was poorly received because it focused too much on um, Billy Magnuson's Steve McKee character and not enough Bruce Lee. <laughs> So that's, an, that's How another. How can you focus more on him? That's another. Yeah, yeah, that's that, another aspect of the whole thing. Uh, as far as, um, as, far as uh, this the, movie was ninety percent him. Yeah, the deviation. <laughs> the deviation. So, that so the, about being deceived. That's that's uh, another reason why because it focuses heavily on uh, Billy Magnuson's character of Steve McKee. So the whole basis of this movie of this fight was that uh, Chinese. We're teaching non-Chinese, right? Right. That's their the culture, their art. Yeah. yeah right. right. So th in this movie, Wong Jack Man takes this white boy as his. <laughs> he starts off by saying it was like, no, I don't think you should be taught. But wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach, teach you. <laughs> he takes him on as a student. And what's the whole purpose? So they changed the whole purpose of the movie, where now the purpose of the movie is not because I'm defending the Chinese culture for you teaching someone else. The whole purpose of the movie was now I'm gonna. I'm gonna take Bruce Lee to the next level. I'm gonna show him how he can. Not even that. I think it was. Um, uh, we're not gonna. It's not. A, this is not a spoiler review, so we don't want to tell you too much about it. But the thing is that. Uh, oh, they've seen the movie. The, see it. Okay. <laughs> no, they haven't. I, I've seen the box office. They haven't seen it. Uh, it's but, about twelve of y'all saw it, and that's about it. Yeah. But, uh, and three of them are right here. But the other four people that saw it. Yeah, for, for the other nine, for the other nine people that saw it. Um, but you know the uh, the whole thing as far as um, uh, the reasoning, he uses his influences on Bruce Lee, befriends Wong Jack Man, and uses both of their influences to bet for, to do something to benefit himself. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it completely, like you said, deceives everybody and deviates completely from the plot. So that basically, what, what you're we, saying what is thought. the white man took advantage of the Asians. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned <laughs> that. A lot of the, a lot of the response <laughs> uh, about this movie is actually highlighting a lot of the whitewashing yeah. it, uh, it did because it took away from Bruce Lee. Hell, it even took away from Wong Jack Man in the way by making uh, the, the Billy Magnuson's yeah. <laughs> uh, character as, uh, as the focal point. Yeah. Now, his character is actually based on Steve McQueen. Really? It what? is actually based on Steve McQueen. So when you watch this movie... Wait, they betrayed Steve McQueen? They betrayed Steve McQueen? <laughs> they betrayed Bullet? This is, oh my so, God. That, I wish you hadn't even have told me. That makes me hate it more. Yeah. So <laughs> now they're just like, oh, who else? Hey, you weren't the Beatles popular at this time too? Let's go ahead and somehow get him. Homage to them in this movie. Okay, so if we even want to talk about this particular character, maybe they could have sold me on the character because they started to give you a little bit in, as far as his story. Like, you but know, he ain't even on a poster. Yeah, but he ain't, on, <laughs> he ain't on a poster. Uh, but he was like, "Hey, how did you learn how to box like that?" And he was like, "Oh, your dad." My dad used to beat me. And yeah, basically they hinted to dad and used to beat him, but then they never even told you more about his story. Okay, they didn't give him a backstory. They, yeah. they there was no backstory there was no, like, to you him. You want me to care about this character, but you give me nothing to care about except the fact that he's trying to save this one Asian girl he met for two days and didn't even get no ass. <laughs> well, I mean, the first time he met her was handing her some stuff from a truck. Hey, you don't know what happened in that truck when they cut That's scenes. Right. You're right. When yeah. they cut Lots scenes out, they cut <laughs> scenes out because they wanted to keep it PG. 13. Maybe that book, you know. Well, we needed more pages while they can get on that book right now. That was the Kama Sutra that he handed her. We're trying to keep it PG, but we needed more Philip NG. Because this freaking crap without him, it just sucked. Now, towards the end, there is a pretty interesting team up type that actually has some pretty good martial arts. Yeah. That was kind of okay. It was a little forced to me, though. It was very, very forced. It was It was a. Changed the whole thing. It was a cheap knockoff version of an Ip Man movie. 
In a sense, yeah. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a way. Uh, and I'm just saying in a... I'm, because and I've already it, seen Bruce Lee in Ip Man. <laughs> Ip Man is like... They had some amazing this is fights, Ant Man right? 4. <laughs> so another, another one of the biggest things that they that people did not like about this movie is that it is uh, pretty much advertised as a true story or true events based on a fake character. <laughs> based on a fake character. Based true on, events based, like, on a, based on a fake character. Wow. That, that, that's, that's not important enough no, to be able to no, post. Wait, 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 wait. It was Steve McQueen, sir. I it was Steve McQueen. Based, based on a true events based on a non-fictional. Well, excuse like me, on a fictional person. <laughs> right. I just, it, yeah. But even worse, Steve McQueen. Even worse, there was no Jerome. There was no Jerome? No Jerome. There was Come Jerome. Come on, man. There was Jerome. The chop sake flicks. <laughs> Some cool shit. <laughs> no Jerome. <laughs> And it's fine. You know what? Uh, it, it, we get caught on Dragon because Dragon was an amazing movie. And it was like, it, it didn't need to be like Dragon. But... And they needed to do its own thing. They introduced different characters than what well, happened. Well, I mean, but they they passed over the important characters, <laughs> like Linda Lee. Yes, yeah, how yeah, about that? yeah. Let's talk about his yeah. wife. <laughs> he mentions her twice. That's it. And he doesn't. He obviously ain't got to go home because all he did was just stay in the dojo or the, the his school. It's a studio. It's a studio. I don't know what they called it at that point. It I like just it. said it's a studio. Whatever they called it at the time. <laughs> the, uh, so, he already stayed in there. That's the only places that we saw him. We saw him in the alley, and we saw him inside the studio. No, well, the alley and was right room. outside the studio. Uh, right outside the studio. We saw him in the studio and outside the studio. And, and in the it. warehouse. And, in the, and, alley, and, yeah. and when he went to do the and competition. The and, in the re- and the competition, yeah. which which if it's the same competition, if it's Ed Parker's Kempo competition, that, that's where he got famous. Mm-hmm. If that's what that was supposed to be, that was completely wrong. Oh. He, hey, once again, sir. True, True events. events. <laughs> that, was, that, whole thing, that kind of pissed me off because he would never do that. I don't think I, from what we because they have video of him at, at, at Kanye at, at East, Parker. sir. Kanye, Kanye East. East. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shannon Lee completely uh, distanced herself from this movie. Oh, uh, well, of course. Well, she, yeah, she, yeah, she didn't want anything to do with she it. She had something to do with Dragon. She was like, why would why would I back this movie that totally betrays Dragon? Yeah. She was in Dragon. <laughs> True. She was a singer, actually. <laughs> but Linda, uh, at the end of Dragon, speaking of, at the end of Dragon, Linda Lee says, you know, a lot of people uh, want to talk about how he how he died, but I'd she, rather she, about she, I was talking about how he, how he lived. lived. This movie was a perfect opportunity to do that, and it completely... It had just, one <laughs> little spot to take care of. Do that one little era of his life, and get it right. Well, that's it. And like they just spent too much time. Like I said, well, I'm that's that, okay with the Wong Jack Man story, but focus more on his did, relationship with Bruce, not his relationship with this student. Yeah. Well, it, the, the students. But you're you're skipping the uh, the main part. Is you keep on focusing on they you know. Look, ultimately, this is what happened. They put a whole bunch of stuff that had nothing to do about Bruce Lee. Right. True events. And the few, very few scenes that he was in, mm-hmm. didn't even get that right. So on I, Bruce Lee. <laughs> so they needed James Cameron on it. So, so I, he can do true this. I, I would venture. I'm, I'm just, I'm just guessing. But I would venture to say he was probably the character Bruce Lee was probably in this movie. I would say maybe a total of fourteen minutes. They jokered tops. it bad. They fourteen, it. fourteen minutes tops. Everything else was uh, revolving the white guy. Godzilla was more in his. Oh, one judgment. <laughs> they Godzilla this movie. They got <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question then. All right. Do you think? That maybe this was this is a movie where it had a it had a story of its own only about Wong Jack Man and they threw Bruce Lee into it to sell tickets. It's a possibility, but um, it because to me it seemed like Bruce was an afterthought in this film. But then mm-hmm. then then that would have been the biggest uh, gripe about the uh, as far as the um, uh, the early screenings of it. Mm-hmm. But that was not the negative. The negative press was because of the amount of scenes that the Billy Magnuson character and had. And that they cut that out. And they cut all of that. And still, he was still the focus. So this the movie was, was, a, was, what was his character's name? Birth of Steve McKee. Yeah. Birth of McKee. <laughs> birth, of McKee. <laughs> birth of McKee. Yeah, the birth of McKee. Birth of McKee. Featuring Wall Jack Man and Bruce Lee. <laughs> or, uh, sorry, but. Free and Slave Girls. Free and Slave. Free and Slave. Or his Steve? favorite movie, White Guy Saves the Day. <laughs> it's a blindside party. Well, you know what? The thing is, he's the hero in this movie and he did absolutely no fighting he, he, he got his ass kicked he, yeah, he, he goes it. he go. he did some fighting he just didn't win yeah. well he did very little fighting too I mean, Jerry Cooney did but Bruce Lee kicked his ass 
<laughs> he got his ass kicked in a bar. It's like he never won anything. What was his box? What was his boxing that he was talking about? Because Bruce, I don't know what boxing you watched. His boxing was bad. Oh man! All right. Well, the, another gripe I had about this movie is the only other Asian that is featured on the film, who I would venture to say was on this film, besides Wong Jack Man, uh, was the the one of the, uh, com- the comic the, relief. The comic relief. Okay. Not Why? the brothel chick. No, no, no. Because <laughs> she was another. She was she, in, she's actually she, Asian, yeah. Bart. <laughs> oh, she was? So was Auntie Blossom. She was also Asian, Art. The only, uh, I was going to say the of the main characters that they were featuring was the comic relief, mm-hmm. which it absolutely needed no comic relief. Well, you, all movies have comic No, 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 no. That, what, the, even the comic Joel relief wasn't was comic. comic relief of, yes. of Dragon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he was some cool shit. <laughs> but there was no comic relief. <laughs> There was no comic relief at it that he did. He was thrown in there for that. Okay. But that's about it. Oh, man. Well, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 19%. Wow. wow. That's, and, that's uh, suicide, right? What? Is that worse than Suicide Squad? There you go. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes was 19%. And, uh, the, that's pretty uh, high. I thought that was going to get lower. Now, box office, uh, box office was uh, 5.9 million. Unfortunately, this actually opened at the same time as Hurricane Harvey. So, that means God hated it, too. <laughs> God. So, <laughs> So, um, oh my God! And um, also, it was um, uh, it was <laughs> Bruce Lee versus Wong Jack Man. People would rather see Mayweather versus McGregor in the theaters because that it went up, against, it went up, against, the it went up against the super fight and it lost. That super so, fight went up against another super fight. Yeah, and, yeah, and it lost. Yeah. So better luck next time. Tough uh, break. I so whenever they both were scripted, if you think about. It. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, this is one of those films where it's like, I thought this was a great way for WWE Studios to kind of venture out into other things. I saw Slight, finally, and that, and we talk about movies like not marketing what they actually are. Slight was a mismarket thing, too. It, it was, uh, and we're not going to get into that, but I'm seeing a, uh, a pattern with, w, with WWE Studio films, and it's like, they whoever doing their marketing is marketing because what they think will sell, not with the actual content the, the of the content film. Of the yeah. film. I, I, I can see that. It cause uh, I remember twelve rounds. Yeah. It, All right. <laughs> or the marine. I mean the marine. Actually, the marine. The marine. The marine. <laughs> hey, those were marketed well. It was like those. Oh, that was. Well, is this, is this, <laughs> this is the first WWE movie that I can think of that didn't actually have any wrestlers. Uh, yeah. Slide didn't have wrestlers. Uh, yeah. That Slide didn't have wrestlers either. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Well, first action movie with no wrestlers. How's that? Yeah. There okay. You there you go. Okay. All right. Go well, Terrence. Take us home. All right, so uh, if you hate this movie much as we do, uh, you won't have to see this on You Don't Hate. We're definitely, this is up there with Batman and Robin. Never going to happen. Um, <laughs> but make sure you uh, you guys like, tell us that you guys like our films, or our videos anyway. Uh, make sure you put in the comments below how you felt about this film. I'm sure there's somebody out there who said, wow, oh, this really movie was the film. greatest. This yeah, movie is it. There's always one. There's obviously 18% of those people out there. That 19, lo- 19. 19%, sorry. 19% of those people out there who really love this film or at least went, so please put those comments below. I really want to have that conversation with you. I don't beat you up in the in the comment section, but I will. I would like to dialogue back and forth to see what did I miss in this film. <laughs> well, well, what do you bro- think its saving grace was? Because Bruce, <laughs> leave, leave your leave your comments down below. Really, uh, the audience score for this movie is actually seventy five percent. What were they that's, watching? That's good. I have no idea. It was the intro and the credits. They, they All fun- right. You know what's funny? My <laughs> they, kids actually love this movie. You see what I mean? Yeah. My so, kids love this movie, and I, I went on a tirade. That's for because an hour. they didn't know really who Bruce Lee was. No, no, no. I showed them Dragon like three weeks earlier. <laughs> kids have a short attention span. Leave your comments below. <laughs> I'm for Aspen at work. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. I'm Art. And we'll see you next time. All right. Aliens! Aliens! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun, and I'm gonna try not to beat it to death. And I hope you freaking got the plot down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew what happened in this movie. Nothing! That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot.